Hey guys, welcome back to another video on how to make a game like Tower of Hell. Um, yeah, so this is part two of how to make it an actual tower. I have recorded this two times, but it stopped recording in the middle of the recording because of a keybind that I kept hitting by accident, so yeah. Okay, so we're going to make it a door. So first you want to go to replicated storage and drag your end model into workspace. Oops, wrong key. Um, I'm gonna go to the button and open this in workspace. Just delete the stand that the button is on. Um, this part and this part. And then the button, I'm going to, I'm just gonna make it a, an actual door real quick. So I'm going to go to orientation, just set that all to zero. And then scale and just put it into the wall. Just like this. Um, yeah. Okay, there we go. That's just going to be the basic door. Um, yes. Okay, so to make it work like a door, go into the button. Or well, I'm just going to name this, rename it door. Then go to where it's click detector in the script. Just delete click detector. And then go into the script. So you want to just delete. Um, just, yeah, okay, just delete the local variable, and then delete this, keep all, keep all this, just delete this, and replace it with script.parent.touched, so that gets the script.parent to see if it's been touched, and then connect, fun um, connect function, function and then hit so that'll be the part that touched it and then in here do local um, player equals game dot players um, get um, player from character I just um, press tab to like enter or enter or whatever um, and then in here do hit dot parent so that gets the actual player with all the dot and like the stats and stuff from them from the actual physical character if that makes sense and then after this do if player dot stats dot finished dot value is equal to which is two equal signs false then so that just gets like, this is going to be if they haven't finished. Um, going to highlight all this and press tab, enter and just type in end. To add the end to the if statement. And then right after this if statement, um, inside it, do play, um, whoops, player.stats.finished.value equals true so that's just saying that they have finished okay that should be it for this script now um, okay yeah I'm gonna just close that and put the end part back in replicated storage because we're finished with it go to serve script service and main scroll all the way down till you find for I player in pairs um, game players get children which is like where you load the character then do player that stats dot finished dot value equals false so that's just saying that they haven't finished because it's a new round okay yep so that's false you can just close out of that as well and come to the leader stats script right click it duplicate and just rename it to stats just like this and delete everything up to here and delete everything above so just have this and i'm just going to format that properly so just delete everything until you have this and rename the folder just stats instead of leader stats because otherwise it will mess with like the points and wins and all that and look um, i'm going to rename wins to finished copy that and paste it all into those 
and then in int value do bool do bool value value instead of int value okay that should work now I'm just going to go up here so I can actually spawn like at the end or nearly at the end never mind <laughs> just fell all the way back down okay so anyway so yep the end is up there there should be the um wall or door i mean and it should when you touch it, it should give you the winds and all that okay nearly there and um yep it gave you the winds and stuff but um whoops i um forgot something i'll i'll be back when i figure out what i forgot okay so i fixed it so um there's a few things i forgot as well so just go to um start player start play scripts and go to button change and just chain just delete this line that says destroy click detector because that we don't have that anymore and change button to door or whatever you name this part that gets touched um then just close that inside stats just um after all this just do finished dot value equals false to make sure it's always false and in script just at this if statement um do player and so that just makes sure that it's an actual player mm -mm. and then it gets the leader stats and now it should work this time so you're just gonna walk into the door yep times two speed it's going faster you got wins you can't do it again okay no errors there we go it works um yeah thank you for watching um yeah i'll see you next time